Yo, what up guys, this is your boy Legendary here, and today people, I'm going to be doing another deck profile. Today I'm going to be doing Yuga Odo's Sevens Road deck, so it's going to be all of his Seven Road monsters and Seven Road strategies up in there. I read through all of his cards, um, I had to make all of his cards, so I printed them all out, so I'm obviously doing a, a live deck profile here, uh, now that I have a printer and I can print these cards out. So I printed all of, not all of Yuka's cards out, but I built a Savage Road deck online first, and then I printed out the ones that I needed for that specific deck profile. So um, I will be releasing all of Yuka's cards um, soon. I'll let you guys know when, but if you guys want to use uh, build the deck that I have in this deck profile, in this video today, you could go in the link in the description and it'll have um, a Google Drive for you guys to go there and download it and then you guys just print it out and try it out yourself in real life guys so it'll be right there for everybody so it's gonna be hyped up but yeah so we're gonna be doing you get sevens road deck profile uh yeah so let's just hop into it so first up we got his ace sevens road magician right here by the way guys um this, this i don't actually print these cards out officially like this is just a regular piece of paper like i just print these out um with regular paper and then cut them up and then put them behind like another card in the back so if you're wondering you know how do I make these cards I don't actually make them like officially <laughs> I literally just use regular paper and then put them in a card sleeve with a card behind it that's it uh, in case if you didn't know but yeah I I'm sure most people do it this way but just in case if you don't know that's how I do it but yeah we got Sevens Road Magician uh, we have Sevens Road Witch the Dark Magician Girl version we got Sevens, Sevens Road Warlock we got Sevens Road Sorcerer. I'm not going to be showing uh, all the cards on the side there because there's kind of no point. Um, you guys could just download the PDF file, read through all the cards, print them out, and try it out for yourself. So I'm not going to read through all the cards um, and whatnot. I'm also not going to be going through strategies and stuff because I honestly haven't even used this deck yet. I just finished building it. So I don't know how well it I mean, I'm sure it works decently well. But uh, for the most part, I don't really know how like consistent or how fast it is or anything like that. I mean, it's it's a rush deck, so it's not technically consistent because there's no searching. But yeah. Anyway, we got Sevens Road Sorcerer. Uh, we got Sevens Road Enchanter. We got Sevens Road Mage. We have Sevens Road Wiz. That's all the Sevens Road right there. All seven of them. All right. So basically, uh, what I did for the rest of this was I looked through Yuga's monsters. The majority of them and I, I was trying to find whatever monsters spells or traps that specifically worked for spellcasters or sevens road cards or stuff like that so uh, any cards I add from this moment on for the most part are cards that are meant to uh, work with the sevens road monsters to the best of its abilities um, and whatnot but yeah so we have a uh, brave of dawn lead across and we have brave of dawn twilight lead across uh, as well so yeah, uh, this is good because it allows you to special summon uh, up to two level five or lower spellcasters from your hand. So, um, you know, you could bring out some of your Sevens Road monsters with this effect. And um, Lead Across allows you to special summon one level six warrior or spellcaster monster from your hand face up, which is pretty cool. So, um, you know, they help you kind of bring out some of the lower leveled uh, Sevens Road monsters in there. And then for the next monster, I added a loot card in here. I added his ace, Multi-Strike Dragon Dragius, um, because I'm gonna be using the fusion that Yuga used against Otis, which is, um, you know, this card fused with Seven's Road. So I only added this card for Luke there, um, his ace, just for fun. Um, you could replace that with anything else that you want, any other ace monster that Yuga has any other boss monsters. Anyway, uh, we have full meter impact. You could also replace this for literally any one of Yuga's monsters, any one of them. It doesn't have to be this one. I just added it because it kind of bombs monsters and stuff. It's only level six or lower, but it does, you know, destroy monsters. So I added it. Uh, next up, we have we have Sheath the Scarab of Holy Swordsman right there because it has an effect that works with warrior and spellcasters. Special summon a level seven warrior from your hand. You could use this to special summon your lead across and then use lead across to special summon uh, a level five or lower spellcaster. So there's a little bit of strategy there as, as much as you possibly can. And we have dark sorcerer and light sorcerer. Uh, they're just normal monsters and aqua sorcerer as well. It's important with this deck to try to have all the elements in your deck because you know, Seven's Road gains attack points equal to 
all the attributes in your graveyard times 300. So try to have one of each attribute at the very least in the deck. You're mostly going to have a, a bunch of dark monsters for the most part and some light and whatnot. And then you'll have a few of a, a few of the others, but mostly uh, light and dark is, is what's in the deck um, and fire maybe. Uh, then we have Rescue Magician. This has a cool effect uh, as well. You can send a spell or trap card to add a spellcaster monster with 1500 or more attack from your grave to your hand. So you could add your 7th Road Magician back to your hand by discarding a spell or trap, which is good. Uh, and then we got uh, Sparks, Sparks Hearts Girl. We got Magical Beast Wolf Ram. Um, we got Swordsman of, of Road Star, which is the fusion material you need for uh, one of Yuga's fusions, the first one that he used. Uh, we got Whispering Fairy, and then we have three copies of uh, Curry Bot. Uh, with all the alternate artworks, which is good. And, um, yeah. So, yeah, that's kind of his main deck right there. Those are all his monsters. I believe that's 23 or 24 monsters right there. And then uh, we're going to hop into the spell cards. So, uh, I basically just added all the generic spell card support and Seven's Road support, uh, specifically, uh, into the spell cards. Because I wanted it to just synergize with everything uh, as best as you possibly can. So first up we have Magical Stream to pop back row, we have Wind Spirit's Blessing, you know, to gain a thousand attack points. We have Recovery Force, this is kind of your pot of Avarice for spellcasters in the deck. Uh, allows you to shuffle three spellcasters from your graveyard into the deck to draw one. Then we have High Magic Double Axel, this is basically kind of like a Megamorph in a sense. It allows you to double the attack of one of your spellcaster monsters, which is cool. Uh, we got Seven's Road Boost. This, uh, this is a really good card right here because it basically makes it so your dark spellcaster monsters uh, cannot be destroyed by your opponent's trap effects and gain attack equal to the number of dark spellcasters in your graveyard, which is good. All the Seven's Road monsters are dark, so if you have like Seven's Road Magician on the field, for example, he's protected by trap cards for that turn and he'll gain 200 attack for every one of your Seven's Road monsters in the graveyard, which is good. So. Protects from traps and boosts up uh, your monsters, uh, which is good. Then we got Seven's Twin Burst. This is basically kind of the same thing as uh, what's it called? Dark Magic Twin Burst. Uh, it, it literally does the same thing where it gives the attack of Seven's Road Witch onto Seven's Road Magician, and you know, and then it does all that, which is really cool. Nice, cool reference there. And then uh, the two. Road Magic cards I added was Uplifter and Flowback. I do have the other ones in the side deck. But I only added these because there's uh, the, the deck, like I said, mostly has uh, light monsters, so you'll be able to trigger this a lot more often. And then Flowback, uh, I think there's like two water monsters in this deck currently right now, uh, and this is really good because it bounces an opponent's monster back to the hand, so this is a very nifty effect. So, um, you know, it, it's not active all the time. I didn't add all of them because, like I said, I don't have as many multiple attributes of all of them because I had to add all the Seven's Roads and they're all darks. And I had to find cards that synergize specifically with this, but there's a lot of light monsters, so this effect will be uh, active a lot more. This card does have a really cool effect because you could basically discard uh, a light monster from your hand and then uh, have one of your monsters gain attack equal to the attack of a level 8 or lower monster your opponent controls with the lowest attack, which is good. So you could just do that. It's, it's really powerful, and this, like I said, bounces. And then uh, for the last two spell cards, we have Fusion. You know, to go for your fusion plays, he only has one. And then for the legend card in the deck, we have Graceful Charity, you know, for draw support. You guys already know. So we got Graceful Charity right there. Those are all the spell cards. Now for the traps, once again, also just added uh, generic spell card support. Uh, we have Curtain of Sparks uh, to decrease attack points. We have Magic Fire Guard which protects um, one attack position spellcaster monster from being destroyed by battle. We got Magical Switch, uh, which can swap out a spellcaster from your graveyard with a one on the field. So you can get out of some tight spots with that. Uh, we got Seven's Road Protection. This card's also really cool. When your opponent normal summons a monster, all face up dark attribute spellcaster monsters on your field cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects this turn. So boom, very good protection. Uh, and then if you have Seven's Road Magician in your graveyard, you can change that opponent's normal summon monsters to face up defense. So very, this is a very good protection card. I'm surprised it has that good of an effect for a, for a rush dual card. 
um, and all your your opponent has to do is just normal summon a monster, which is not much of is not really a cost really. Uh, and then Dark Liberation, the mirror force that you uh, Yuga has, and then we have Magic Quartex Shock, which is kind of another mirror. For, well, not a mirror force. It's kind of like a Sakuretsu armor. Uh, it's a little hard to activate because you have to specifically shuffle four normal spellcaster monsters so there there are exactly four in the deck currently right now there's only four so it'll be a little tricky to add so if you want to swap that out for something else that's a little less you know situational with how many you have or if you want to change the main deck to add more normal monsters normal spellcasters then do that and then the final trap card we have emergency return uh to negate an attack which is cool and uh i believe that is it right there let me show you guys the extra deck all right, for the extra deck, it's short and sweet. Uh, we have, uh, I'm gonna start from uh, the least to the to the best. We have uh, Curry Batero. Oh, actually, I forgot to add, uh, Siesta Torero is one of the fusion materials. I forgot to add that in the main deck and the side deck. So if I remember to add it, it'll be in the files. If not, then you won't be able to summon this. But uh, this wasn't used in the show. There's a couple of Yuga's fusions that came out in a pack that were never used in the show because there was no time. Um, but yeah, so this is the Kar Karibo one right there. You guys will be able to read it when you download it, so I'm not gonna go through it right now. Uh, we have uh, Whispark Fairy Girl right there. Uh, this one you could summon with the deck right now because it just requires Sparks. It just requires Sparks Hearts Girl and Whispering Fairy, which both of them are in the deck right now. And then for the cooler uh, fusion monsters, we have Raid Cross Ash, Hero of Chaos. Very sick name, very sick artwork, very nice. This is a magical knight monster, um, which is really cool. You just have to use raid. Okay, so I just checked right now, and uh, apparently this is a, a mistyping. This is raid across hero of dawn. It's it's late across. It's the it's the the light one that fuses with dark sorcerer. So there, there's a mistyping there, but uh, yeah, there you go right there. Um, I'm not gonna read through these effects. These just read them on your own. Uh, there's just a lot to go through and I don't have the time <laughs> um, next up we have Seven's Paladin the magical knight very cool I love when he used this for the first time in the show it looks sick it looks such an awesome evolution of seven real magician he looks a lot cooler uh, this is this is just a really cool card right here uh, then we have master of seven's road which he used uh, this is a fusion between seven's road magician and uh, Seven's Road Witch, which is awesome, and it's a, uh, this, this is just a level 9, but uh, the last one is a level 10, and that will be Seven's Geus, the Magical Dragon Knight, level 10 fusion monster, very good, this card has a really sick effect too, I'm gonna read through this one because it actually has a pretty interesting effect as well, um, if your opponent has a face-up level 7 higher monster on their field, uh, you can send the top card of your deck to the graveyard to activate one of these effects. It's a choice effect, so you could activate one of these two following effects. The first one is this turn, this card begins attacking to the number of different types in your graveyard times 700. And if you do, it can attack twice this turn, which is good. So 700 for every attribute, since you're going to have max 6, 6 times 7. So you would gain 4,200 attack points um, total, I believe. And then... Uh, and you can attack twice, which is good. Or its last effect is you can destroy all face-up cards on the field, including this card. So it just bombs everything. So that it, it can be risky because you bomb yourself as well. But uh, if you got not much else, then just bomb everything. So it's really cool. So those are his fusions right there. They look really sick. I love that fusions are introduced now into Rush Tools. I wasn't too happy about it in the beginning, but now that they're here, I do love them and uh, I love seeing them. But yeah, that is his deck right there for the side deck. I'm just gonna go go rapid speed right now, rapid speed. We got Amazing Dealer. Uh, we have his Maximum Monster right here. I only have one of them right now in the side deck, but um, I will make the other two also accessible for you guys to print out. Um, either in a future video or it'll be in the link in the description but you guys can put these out this is maximum I didn't add in the main deck because I wanted to focus on sevens road but if you want to tech this in uh, I guess you could take out the curry bots in there and just add these three and then there you go so yeah um, that's the maximum sorry I forgot to say the name of the maximum this is a uh, supreme flagship magnum overload pretty cool card and it does work with the deck too to special summon some of your uh, level seven or lower monsters uh, from 
from your hand and stuff. And then uh, we have Road Magic Explosion, the fire one, uh, Road Magic Tectonic Shift, the earth one, and Road Magic Tempest, which is the wind one. And then we have Seven's Halo, uh, Rightful Magic, Curry Bot Triple, Diffusion, Solitary Motion, Spell, Shattering Spear, Parallel Evolution, uh, and then for the other legend card, Mirror Force. I didn't add this because I want you can only have one legend card in a deck at a time. So I already added Graceful Charity and I wanted to draw support. So I just added this um, in the side deck, but you could just swap it out if you want to use Mirror Force instead. The fact that he has Mirror Force is actually insane. Uh, but he does have Mirror Force and he has a trap card that works with Mirror Force too, which is dope. And then for the final card, Stray Familia. Uh, you have to fuse two stray cats, I think, two stray familiars, and I didn't print them out, so that's why I added it into the side deck, because I didn't actually print it out. This isn't that good of a card anyway, to be honest. It has some pretty beefy defense, but other than that, like, this card is pretty bad. So, I wouldn't even bother using this. It's not worth using your one copy of fusion to summon this. Um, you know, so, <laughs> it is what it is. It's cute, but that's about it. Okay. That's the deck profile for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is Yuga's Sevens Road deck. Uh, I will have other versions of his deck in the in the future too. I just got to figure out and print stuff out and all that. I have a lot of stuff to do. Um, yeah, just go in the link in the description, guys. If you want to use this deck, you want to print it out, just cut it up, put it in some sleeves, and voila, there you go. You can have a rush duel uh, with your friends, which is awesome. And, and also. Watch the previous video where I did, uh, I converted Jaden Yugi's deck into a whole Rush deck, uh, added new effects, I changed everything up to make it work with Rush Duels. So if you want to have Yuga versus Jaden in Rush Duel format, there you go. Go in the link in the description in the Judai video and uh, download that, print that out have a friend and then battle it out have some rush tools but yeah that is the video for you guys i hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it god bless you guys i will see you in the next video gotcha see ya